Hi guys! So, uh, as you probably know, I'm uh, an absolutely massive fan of uh, professional female wrestling. And um, as such, I have a number of uh, professional female wrestlers who are my all time favorites, uh, whom, I ex whom I love uh, and uh, who I absolutely respect and admire, uh, not only because of their uh, in ring antics, but uh, some of them also because uh, of the sort of life that they lead and um, uh, they're focused on health and general fitness and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, in this regard, uh, as you probably know, one, uh, the, the professional, the single professional female wrestler who's had the biggest impact on me and with whom I identified early on as a child was Malaya Hosaka. Now today I do not actually want to talk about Malaya Hosaka, I want to talk about someone else that I identified with early on um, as a professional female wrestling fan. And that was Magnificent Mimi. Now, Magnificent Mimi was uh, an extremely glamorous, a glamazon, if you will, of that era, uh, of the 80s. Uh, she, was, uh, she had a superb physique, and uh, she knew how to take uh, a bump or two in that ring as well. Uh, although her wrestling skills uh, may not have been up uh, to par with, uh, with the Jap Japanese female wrestlers of the era, she actually did go to Japan, she wrestled the women of Japan, and uh, she enjoyed quite a bit of success over there as well. Um, obviously, not exactly a surprise given her looks and her uh, attitude in that ring. So, um, yeah, today I want to talk to you guys about Magnificent Mimi. Magnificent Mimi's real name is Mimi Diane Alessius, and uh, she was born to a Greek father and a Latino mother. Uh, indeed, that shows in her exotic looks. She had a pretty rough uh, childhood and uh, she realized early on the sort of power that she had on uh, the opposite sex with her uh, glamorous uh, physiques and uh, sexy uh, attitude and uh, moves. And uh, she started working um, as a mud wrestler, if I'm not mistaken, uh, although I could be wrong there. Uh, she made a professional wrestling debut in 1988 for uh, the American Wrestling Association, AWA, and she became one of the instant favorites there. Um, she wrestled names like Laura Lynn over there, Diane Van Hoffman, and uh, she was indeed uh, quite possibly at her most glamorous there. Um, following her uh, AWA stint, she moved on to wrestle for the LPWA, which is arguably where her professional wrestling career peak was reached. Uh, there she uh, feuded with uh, the likes of Bambi and uh, Malay Osaka and uh, she often teamed up with uh, Candy Divine to uh, wrestle uh, tag teams uh, such as the Nasty Cats and uh, Nasty Cats and Nasty Girls, <laughs> Nasty Calaroo and Nasty Linda. And um, they had quite a bit of success as a tag team as well. Uh, Mimi was definitely championship material, though I'm quite certain that she never actually wrapped that uh, LPWA belt around her waist. And uh, I'm not quite as certain about this, but she probably never actually became champion in the AWA either. Uh, as said above, she did wrestle in Japan, and uh, she had quite a bit of success over there as well. She defeated fan favorites such as Cutie Suzuki, and uh, Miva Sato, if I'm not mistaken, and a whole bunch of others. Besides professional wrestling, her uh, other focus was uh, acting and movies. She actually had uh, quite a few roles in various movies, such as uh, Malcolm in the Middle, The Scorpion King, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and there were at least a couple of others. And uh, obviously when she uh, quit wrestling in 1994, I think that was, uh, she began focusing on her acting career. Now, uh, even today, she's in a great shape, she looks great, and she has a YouTube channel, uh, which she uses as, uses as a sort of a fashion uh, channel. What's surprising about this channel of hers is uh, just how few subscribers she has. I mean, that is uh, really crazy. As far as I'm concerned, I am definitely subscribed, and if I were you, I would uh, subscribe uh, to her too. <laughs> 
But uh, I don't know how often she puts out content, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, she was an idol of my childhood. And uh, obviously, um, I just had to, to subscribe to follow her. Um, that's about it for today, guys. Uh, sign up uh, to, to my channel or, uh, you know, rather subscribe to it. <laughs> and uh, share this video. Uh, check out my other videos. I review a bunch of pantyhose. Uh, pantyhose and women's wrestling. These two are, these, these are my two passions. So uh, I review a whole bunch of pantyhose. Uh, I uh, review women's wrestling matches too. I plan to do that. And I do plan on getting into um, body shaping and fitness a little bit because uh, over at crossdressers.com at the forum, uh, you know, several people have asked me uh, about how uh, I got my figure and uh, what I do to maintain it. So, uh, yeah, I plan on doing a video on that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Check me out uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. I'm on, I'm on Flickr as well, and uh, I have a Patreon page recently uh, recently launched. It's not exactly recently launched. I launched it six months ago. Anyway, there's a whole story behind it, and uh, there has not been much following over there. But uh, anyway, uh, if you feel like it, check it out. Just search for me. I'm Catch Queen over there as well. Uh, that's it for today. See you guys.